What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another transfer update for Manchester City. We've got 10 new stories to get through so we're going to crack on with this video and we're first going to be talking about the ins. Now ESPN, they've been reporting that Atletico Madrid want to raise some funds and so they're considering selling one of their midfield players in Saul Niguez. Now Barcelona and Manchester City are interested, they want £120 million. However ESPN, they've been reporting that around £80 million may well get him and Manchester City see Saul as the perfect Fernandes replacement 24 year old midfielder ESPN have also added that Manchester City they believe are ahead of Barcelona in the race and that they were closing in however since that story had broke we had other sources saying actually this deal isn't as close as what has been reported and we now have a transfer saga on our hands now if Barcelona do decide to get involved with this transfer City will pull out of the race because they won't want to get into a bidding war because they don't like paying over the odds for players so we're going to move on to the next story and we'll be reporting about bidding wars well sources in Italy have been saying that Liverpool are prepared to battle Manchester City for Ben Chilwell who is valued at around 50 million pounds and I'm just wondering why Liverpool would pay 50 million pounds for a backup player because he isn't going to replace Robertson at left back so he'd be sitting on the Liverpool bench where Whereas there's a good chance if he went to Manchester City that he'd be in the starting eleven because Benjamin Mendy is so injury prone. Don't get me wrong, if it's between Chilwell and Mendy and they're both fit to go, Mendy will probably get the nod ahead of him because Mendy's absolutely wonderful and he's absolutely brilliant left back. Uh, in my opinion, when fit, one of the best in the league. However, he's about 75-80% of the Premier League season. He isn't fit, so he'd probably get a lot of games. But I'm not too sure why the sources in Italy are regarding two English clubs chasing an English player. But there we go, probably fabricated. Now, next up, sources in Portugal have said that Manchester City are going to move back in for Benfica youngster, uh, the forward, Joa Felix. Now, 19 years old, City had already chased him I think it was last summer uh, if I remember rightly Manchester City was scouting him and I think he decided to stay at Benfica well apparently City again are now scouting him in consideration of them perhaps making a bid for the attacker I presume that would probably be for the like the third position because We've got Aguero, we've got, I know Raheem Sterling can play up front too but we've got Aguero, we've got Gabriel Jesus however We've sent Lucas Dimitri out on loan, so we've not really got that third player there uh, to help really with the overall squad. And so that might be the position they're looking to fill. I would have thought they might have used a homegrown player for that one, but you never know. There might be some developments in this story, so I'll keep an eye on that one. But yeah, City now being linked again with another player that we've been linked with previously. Now, Marcel over in Spain, they said that there is a 40 three million pound release clause in Thomas Partey's contract at Atletico Madrid. City were interested, if you remember me reporting it in the last transfer update, City were linked with a swap with Gundogan, if you remember. Well, they're reporting that £43 million pounds is the release clause. And it wouldn't surprise me if City wanted to sell Ilke Gundogan, that ar around about that price, I'd say, is what it is. So it would be a fair deal. I just don't see us swapping Gundogan. I mean, how many other Premier League clubs or clubs around the world can boast that they've got players of quality like Ilke Gundogan that can sit in defensive midfield and in mid midfield too and also play a squad rotation at the same time because I can guarantee all other Premier League teams he would walk into their starting 11. Manchester City's got so much depth that it simply isn't the case. No player at Manchester City can walk into the starting 11 and be guaranteed to play every single 38 Premier League games. And so, it's ridiculous, but crazy. But there we go. I don't see us swapping Ilke Gundogan, but I do see us going in for Thomas Partey, though. Perhaps. Now, the Metro has been reporting that Tangai Ndombele, he wants to work with Pep Guardiola, and he has his heart set on working with Pep. Leon won £80 million. Manchester City aren't prepared to pay anywhere near that price, which shouldn't surprise you. And Metro have been reporting that Manchester City value him at around £60 million, which is around what we paid for Riyad Mahrez. So we're still some way apart, £20 million, being able to negotiate that. I'm not too sure. I can sense with this, if a club comes in with a serious bid of more money, then Tangai and Dombley might not be the man for Manchester City. I would love to see Ndombele at Manchester City, an aggressive defensive midfielder, a player that I could feel over a couple of seasons develop into a style like Fernandinho. 
However, it would take a couple of seasons to be able to do that. Paying £80 million, pounds, though, the problem we've got is if you pay it once, you pay the big money for these players, then every time you go in for another player, they're just going to keep demanding more and more and more money. Just think of when PSG come in for players, considering they've paid, what, ridiculous money for Neymar, I think it was like £200 million or whatever it was, and Kylian Mbappe, which was like £150 million, just chucking figures out, but it was something along them lines, that when they come in for quality players, the clubs now are going to demand it from them, and so PSG are going to find it hard to do transfers, just like Manchester United and Liverpool even when they come in for players paying over the odds in my opinion for players like Van Dijk and Alisson that when they're going for other players particularly if they're highly valued Liverpool are going to have to match that money and more because of inflation and so you know, where does it stop all this crazy amount of money and that's why Manchester City's policy is what it is and they don't really want to pay uh, more than 40 50 million pound perhaps it can go up to 60 million pound but I don't think we'll ever go above that in my opinion we're not in a situation where we need to go above that either and so so it's all about finding the right price for the right player at the right time. We're under pressure though because we do need to sign some players. A left back and defensive midfielder surely a priority. Perhaps a centre back too. Like I said we're looking at a forward too. And speaking of centre backs brings us on to our last story in the inns. So much news. Sources in Italy, or several sources should I say, in Italy, they've been saying that Manchester City want 24 year old Inter centre back Milan Skriniar, Skriniar, Skriniar. I'm not too sure how you say his name. Sorry. <laughs> Terrible pronunciations. Leave in the comments below how you pronounce his name. But Manchester City, they're prepared to smash their transfer record, according to these sources in Italy. And... £85.5 million pounds of value to add. And just like I just said in the last dealings with Tangai and Dombley, apply what I just said to this story too. City won't be paying them prices. So we're going to move on to the out. And we've had a player leave Manchester City. Now, Manchester City Academy goalkeeper Curtis Anderson, he has signed for Charlotte Independence over in the United States. The England Under-17 World Cup winner from, I think it was 2017, it was also a starter there too. He wanted more playing time and so he's left and seen the USA as his next destination. Uh, obviously, you might have seen the success of some of the other young players that have headed out over to the United States. And so, I want to take this opportunity right now to wish Curtis Anderson all the best of luck in his move to the United States of America and all the best with the move. So, we're going to move on to contract news now and ESPN. They've been reporting that Leroy Sane and Oleksandr Sinchenko, they are set to sign new deals at Manchester City, which, in my opinion, is absolutely fantastic news. If true, that's a key bit there, is if true and next up Pep wants Vincent Company to stay at Manchester City that's not new to us they want him on another 12 month extension that's close to being agreed that's been reported we're We've had all this before, a couple of transfer updates ago, so we still have got more developments on that, but I suspect that Vincent Company at some point will sign contract extensions. I'd expect Zinchenko probably to sign a contract extension. I know that is close. Leroy Sane, that's news to me, but you never know. There we go. And one last bit to end the video on. We have had contract news official for one of Manchester City's young players. If you were watching my loan reports, you'll be familiar with this player. Now, Manchester City youngster Matt Smith, he has signed a new four and a half year deal at Manchester City he's been out on loan at FC20 over in the Netherlands this season and he has had an absolutely fantastic season and had got a massive reward for it four and a half year deal the Manchester City going to promote him next season Are Manchester City going to let him have pre-season are they going to send him out on loan I don't know what the future holds for Matt Smith but at the moment I would suggest that the future is bright for him and the future is blue so there we go that has been the video hope you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts in the comments below uh, of all these transfer dealings which players do you want Manchester City to bring in which players don't you want them to bring in so let me know your thoughts of that in the comments below make sure you leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video so i know that you like this video don't forget if you haven't already make sure you press the red button and subscribe we're aiming for 2500 subscribers at the time of recording this we've got it down to 69 subscribers away so thank you everyone for the continued support thank you everyone for watching all your support has been much appreciated by me and it helps me feel warm inside with all the love that's been shown to my videos and channel at this moment in time if you want to go and check me out on social media the links to them are in description below or i'm going to pop them up on the screen for you to go and view and you can just search for them on twitter and instagram and you can find me on there and don't forget if you haven't already then you can go check out my vlog channel jsgc vlogs and also my brother's partner channel mix it do mixology drinks i'll leave the links to them at the end of the video the next day in the video if you've got any business inquiries or any sponsorships or any videos or any anything general with business then my email is in description below which is jsgc171 at gmail.com so i'll see you all again for the next video we've got the manchester city latest news coming out tomorrow so i'll see you all again for the next video 
video with another transfer update up next week. So I'll see you then. So it's been JSGC. Hope you'll have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace. Ciao for now.